We begin with President Joe Biden and FEMA now approving federal disaster assistance for a handful of Utah counties. And it comes because of all that flooding that we experienced last year around May. So ABC4's Annika Johns talked to the Utah Division of Emergency Management about this funding. And she joins us now from Sugar House Park, where just a few months ago, it was hit pretty hard by those floods. Annika, it's amazing what a difference the park looks compared to what we saw last spring. Absolutely, Courtney. As you can see, just from right here, just part of this little lake pond here, it is so much less than what it was earlier this year. Obviously, the water level is down significantly, and we can thank all of that due to, you know, the summer. But now that we're going back into that winter, we're starting to think more about all of that water coming in and thinking back towards earlier this year where all of that water came from that melted snow and resulted in flooding. Ago, areas across Utah looked more like water parks than roadways and public grounds. And while it was all fun and games for many, some areas have seen lasting and damaging impacts from all that water. As a result, the Federal Emergency Management Agency is stepping in to help. This emergency declaration is the result of the record breaking snowfall and snowpack we received last winter and the resulting flooding that we had around the state. Submitted by the Utah Division of Emergency Management in August, this disaster declaration will be providing funding to five counties that experienced flooding during a specific time period. What they approved was an incident period of May 1st to May 27th, it's just less than a month of incident damages. And it was specifically for Iron, Morgan, San Pete, Utah, and Wasatch counties. Matthews continued saying the money will be going to state, tribal, and eligible local government to help repair infrastructure damages. So we're looking at, you know, we're looking at damages from the roadways. There's a lot of washed out roads and damaged bridges and debris basins that were filled up and water systems that were clogged and those types of things. Matthews says this process will continue to be a slow going journey as FEMA comes in and assesses what needs to be done and as these local governments in the five approved counties begin to submit project plans for repairs. This is going to be several months long process. Again, it took a long time to get here and it'll take a while to to complete that process as well. Now, Matthew, Matthews did continue saying that they had originally submitted more than just the five counties that were approved for an extended period of time from April to June. But of course, FEMA just came back with those five counties for that one month period. Now, he says that they are aware that there are other areas across the state that saw significant flooding, just like here at Sugar House Park, but that these areas are were hit pretty significantly. And that is why FEMA gave them those funding. Reporting live from Sugar House Park, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.